Okay, hey guys, this is Peter Liu. I'm at Gavin Brown Enterprise, and we're at the African Bombada Record Archive Collection. It's going to go to Cornell University for permanent uh, uh, archiving. But right now it's at the Gavin Brown, and I'm with... Allie. Allie, this is Allie. Allie is one of the archivists here. Ali, uh, can you tell us uh, what is going on here? So, at the moment we are um, sorting his 40,000 records. Uh, when we got the collection, they were all in boxes, unlabeled, um, unsorted. So, to make it easier for the folks at Cornell, we are breaking it down alphabetically nice. by artist. Nice. Uh, so, that's what you see here. It's, sort of, uh, it's been, been three and a half weeks of this now. Wow, three and a half weeks you've been archiving? Yeah. Um, so this isn't even the final archival step. Once it gets to Cornell, they'll do a full catalog. Of okay. So they just came in like one jumbled bunch of records. We cleaned up three storage spaces. Um, and, yep, there was no order at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, on Sunday they'll go to Cornell and they'll do the rest. Okay. And uh, so where were they before they got here? They were in three storage spaces. Uh, one was in outside of uh, Baltimore, Maryland. Oh, uh, okay. Um, and I believe the other two were in the New York area. Okay. Uh, okay. And uh, do you know how long they were, had been sitting around in storage? Around 20 years. 20? Dang. Yeah. <laughs> so it's about time to get a... Uh, nice. Nice. That's so awesome. That is so awesome. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's the quick and nerdy on this story here, and uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Allie. Oh, no problem. Okay, bye-bye, guys. <laughs>